Hey guys, thought I'd make a quick video here for you of my trailer. I finally did some cleaning. We've been on the go nonstop, but uh, this is a 16 foot Vino's Outlaw, seven wide, seven tall. Um, we are a bathroom kitchen remodeler, so it's changed quite a bit, but I mean, for the most part, it's pretty straightforward. Um, cleaning supplies hung up front. These are like catch-all items. This bag right here has got just a little bit of everything. Some electrical tools, some plumbing tools, um, quick grab-and-go stuff, air compressor. Each one of these boxes is outfitted specifically for a tool or um, a number of tools. Like down here, I think the Cirque Saw is in that big box, the roller. You got a paint box, you got a plumbing box. This here is cleaning supplies, screws and fasteners up there. You got a recip saw. And a jigsaw this is a battery box um something cool i'll show you here in a second um on that one the batteries uh, uh they've got these uh etsy fasteners to them so they are um charged and i uh, identify them as charged in there general tools uh bottom down there i think that one's actually got a new drill in it um yeah new drill right below it, it's another drill and then the bottom box has multi-tool grinder um let's see biscuit joiner it's got a uh oh planer hand planer uh this box here i use for impacts i've got all my impacts in there i've got it tiered with the shelves so the impacts are stacked in kind of a interlocking fashion and then on top of that's another shelf with some uh, um, some of the boxes with bits and then just past that's another shelf with um, the actual fittings and stuff uh, this is all measuring tools squares tape measuring tapes there's some string line here a couple of chalk lines at the bottom down there some chalk um gosh there's all kinds of different measuring tools in there uh, i've got my pop tent right there miter uh, stand i've got a uh, gorilla foldable this thing's awesome actually i'll probably buy another one of those um 300 pound capacity i think it's a 12 footer get how far out that thing extends um super nice though and then of course i got the uh the ladder stand i'm gonna buy another set though for sure um i use this table quite a bit it's a fold-out table and then these um i just got these i don't know they're okay um the problem is is uh i don't really have a spot for them so they kind of just end up in the way sometimes um this section here is big enough for four by eight sheets so i usually carry some sheetrock just in case um, but for the most part i try and keep that crap out of here because it's a mess I keep some uh, various different profiles of trim and stuff up there. It usually stays okay. I am going to probably create a straddle in the roof here eventually so I can keep that stuff contained well. And then, of course, uh, job saw, table saw. Um, over here, got my miter. Big old crate full of screws and nails and fasteners. There's some plumbing supplies, some sheetrock supplies. There I have my air nailers and all my uh, DeWalt electric battery-powered nailers i've got the 16 the 15 and then the pin nailer uh, and the stapler this big box right here actually has a bunch of like protective stuff so like masks i've got like six or seven 3m masks for uh when we take out tile uh, i've got a bunch of different like uh jumpsuits and the the booty the shoe covers um that's my trim bag usually pretty much have everything in there it's usually a mess too but it, it's a uh, that's super handy i can take that bag in and pretty much knock out trim um detail when i'm, when I'm done cutting and everything uh got a light there oh there's my uh this is a gray coat pc pro uh sprayer i don't know if you guys have seen this or not but they run the dewalt batteries uh sweet little thing to have for different projects i bought a ton of these dewalt uh, inserts I uh, hadn't actually found a good use for them until recently when I started stacking out um, just different boxes. So like the drill has now a stack of these in them. Um, that's what I was saying earlier where they layer. Uh, here I had these stacked on top of a box down there and 
the weight's just a little too much. You can see those two right there. Um, the weight's kind of a little much. And uh, I try not to keep too much on it. I, I fastened these to the, the frame rails in the trailer. And, and they're pretty strong. They're not moving anywhere. But I take this trailer pretty much everywhere. It's usually always behind my truck. So uh, up top, I got a box for electrical, some clamps, some post levels. Uh, there's some PEX tube laying up in there. Usually I've got about 10 or 15 foot of it. Um, cut already. Uh, this box here has like rags and miscellaneous cleaning stuff. Um, got my Makita SDS. This is a uh, PEX tool. Um, my Makita Cirque Saw. This is um, where I keep my um, drugs and my uh, lottery winnings. Uh, there's of course your famous uh, PEX painting supplies, buckets. Oh, what else is up in there? There's a laser level. Um, yep, speaker. So my next thing here I'm going to do is I'm going to build this nose out, put a small tabletop desk slash microwave slash, um, catch all for some of the paperwork that I collect in here randomly and it ends up getting in, um, the mix of everything. So that's it for now. But, um, yeah, like I said, uh, work in progress as we, uh, grow, we're, going to be about a half a million dollar company this year. So, um, Oh, I forgot to mention the smelly hockey bag. Actually, this trailer smells really nice, like air fresheners. Um, but my wife won't let me keep the hockey bag inside. So it stays out here. Um, but yeah, as a half million dollar company, we, um, are just kind of scaling in a direction to, uh, really kind of make sure we have everything in the trailer when we're there. I didn't mention this too. I've got a, um, I guess it's a thousand or 1100. It's a thousand watt inverter. I run off that um, RV battery and uh, we trickle charge every night. Pretty simple. Nothing crazy. I got 200 bucks in that and that powers my lights when we're on the job. Um, nothing you would want to power like a saw or anything off of, but yeah. Anyway, uh, that's all I got for you guys. Appreciate you watching.